What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 6. This will be a new quick let's play. It's going to be my first attempt at sort of a quicker paced let's play for you guys. And um, this is going to be an incredibly chaotic game. We're just hopping in as newbie. I was just scrolling through trying to pick someone at random. I would have just done a random leader to really add to the chaos. But I was a bit, you know, worried we might get someone we've done before or recently done. And I'd set it up again. So I thought I'd just pick one that did still seem pretty interesting to me. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty weird game. We're on a small map. It's only six civs. Um, but we've got all three of the sort of newish, new frontier pass bonus game modes in action. And we're not going to worry about the difficulty. You can see it, it's on prints. This is not going to be, you know, high tier. You're not going to see most of the action. I'm trying to make this more about the humor and the, the events, you know, making it exciting. Um, but yeah, we are on prints. But we have got, so we've got the apocalypse mode on. So there's going to be all kinds of natural disasters going on. We've got secret societies on. So you can join one of those, have some cool effects there and we've got the newest one which is the shuffled technology and civic tree which i'm hearing is quite interesting so yeah it's just gonna be a very chaotic game i'm gonna be playing as nubia and yeah it's gonna be sort of just a quick quick game of civ 5 basically so uh, civ 6 sorry so we'll see how it goes and hopefully we can do have some fun with it basically so we'll start with building a scout always a good thing to go on a map you don't know um I was going to be like trying to pick my technologies based on the resources we had and of course immediately couldn't see any of the technologies. If you're wondering what the tech tree looks like you can see here, um, they're all mixed up and different prerequisites for different things. It's only within the eras from what I can understand. So it won't like things from the classical era have not been moved into the the ancient era. But things within the ancient era could be like in anywhere. I think apart from this initial sort of three here. So that's quite interesting, but it is the same for every sieve, so it's not completely like unique paths. There's no risk of like you being in a worse spot than somebody else. I'm going to join the Owls of Minerva. I haven't joined that society yet. I've done the Vampires very badly, and I've done the uh, religious one, does Ethiopia. And I heard the other, the fourth one with like the ley lines is not very good, so we'll avoid them. So we're next to a volcano. We've had two floods already. This one was a bit further away, but we've already had one here. And a hurricane just sort of floated in and disappeared again so there is a lot going on right now pretty scary world but yeah that, this is what we're going to expect there's be a lot of natural disasters just popping off around us on the uh on the map it's going to be pretty crazy times i think we'll see if we can handle it so as you can see yeah the, the these texts make no real sense so sailing coming off to pottery it's just gonna be completely random bonkers stuff going on um it's gonna be quite interesting though i guess it's gonna spice things up well, there we go. We got hit by an eruption. It did not take long at all. Big volcanic eruption, mega colossal, right on our capital. That is what you love to see. Oh, now there's been a meteor shower. We are not. <laughs> it's a very turbulent um, start to the game already. Right, we unlocked a pantheon, which was not expected. Um, going to think we're going to go with desert folklore. <laughs> I can see a lot of desert there. Uh, one faith. Holy sight from adjacent desert tiles. I mean, that's pretty. That's not even that good when you think about it. Um, might go for something else that's less focused. Towards districts without. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that because we already get a bonus to districts for being Nubia. So if we can like get even more for our, even our, just our first district in each city, then that is gonna be pretty OP. I'm already going for a settler. We're just gonna try and fill the map with cities. See what happens. Well, I said we're going to fill the map with cities. There's actually not really many good locations around us for cities. This city-state is in a very awkward spot. I might go all the way over here if I'm brave. Uh, I don't really want to go that far. Here's tempting, but it's in the desert, so we can't really go there. I guess here's good enough for a second spot. Our oh, unique archers are so... Op oh, no. I just oh, Dang it. That was my mistake. Ignore that. Um, yeah, these guys are awesome. I just shot a slinger, and it just knocked it all the way down, and we're... Just got promotion, so we're going to be even stronger next time. We do have the civic, um, the policy, at, the policy, sorry, active for fighting barbarians. So that does help as well. But I'll build up a quick group of these archers just so we can deal with any problems that we have early on. Okay, we've cleared a lot of barbarian camps. Just ignore that giant blizzard that is going through the desert. I don't, I, I don't know the logic behind the weather there. But here is the Inca, first civ I've managed to meet. So hello, um, you want this? I'm going to refuse that deal. I mean, why do people want World Congress votes? We don't haven't even made the World's Congress yet. Bit, bit weird. Ooh, don't die. Get in the desert. Get in the warm. Get out of the crippling blizzard. It'll be fine. You may notice we are about to potentially complete the pyramids, which is quite exciting. Um, just in the desert there. That will really help with builders, because we're going to be have to repair in a lot of things in this in this game mode. You just spend half your time repairing stuff. 
it is essentially maintenance people simulator. Oh wow, I did not, I forgot about that to be honest. I visited the crater by accident, um, I didn't, not by accident, but I just walked in it, and I got a free heavy chariot, so that was pretty cool. There you go, visit, visit craters. Wait, what? Oh no, I think there's another volcano here somewhere. <laughs> Can't see it, I'm a bit confused. I just built this farm and it said I've settled on the like, fertile land of a volcano. I, I think that was just a mistake, right? I don't see one. I hope there's not another one. Be a nightmare. One was enough, thank you. And here we go, we complete the pyramids. So we got a wonder. Always nice, a good one to get as well. Very useful. I'm gonna get some extra builds. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that. And it's in the desert, well it has to be in the desert, but yeah, we got such a big desert and we are Nubia, so that kind of makes sense. So I'm going to unlock um, the ability to build swordsmen, but I'm not going to be able to actually get any iron. I don't know why, I should be able to. I, I don't know, it wouldn't let me mine this though with my builder, so I don't know what happened there. Must have the wrong set of technologies. I think we've got one, but not the other. Look, I can't build a quarry. Very weird. However, I've used all those extra builds to spam some farms out of the free builder I got from a, a bit good, goody village. And then I just built one over here and that worked out. And we just completed a campus with a three science bonus. So that is fantastic for this city. And we get hit with another massive flood. Just, you know, just as usual. <laughs> no change there. We'll definitely be building a dam at some point. We've become the first suzerain of Muscat, which is good because they are right next to us. So that worked out well. Hello. Can we get a government type? What should we go with? I'm thinking down the middle, nice oligarchy. There we go, three euro score. We get an extra economic policy. I think that's from the secret society I joined. I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Number one in three of the info addicts, population leading the way, which is pretty, I mean, seven and six is not bad size cities. Soldiers are actually leading the way and crop yield. And I mean, we can do better on these other things as time goes on. Get our third city up and running it is a little bit up in the tundra but there's some good resources around it so i'm okay with it and you know if we get a harbor get a bit nearer to the coast it should be okay i probably won't settle up that way anymore i just if i cross this desert there's big loyalty penalties for being too near to the inca so i'm trying to be careful there there is a barbarian encampment out here somewhere i saw a scout turn up so i'll try to find it and deal with that get some more xp always good point liang in our second city which is currently building a builder which means that builder will get even more extra goes they'll get the ones from the pyramids and then they'll get extra builds from liang as well so that's a nice double bonus and we've grabbed a great scientist which is pretty cool what are you going to do for us triggers eureka for three technologies nice the buttress military tactics and apprenticeship which does push us two away from a golden age maybe we can grab a golden age we didn't quite get one in the first era so it'd be nice to get one in the second Okay, it would let me build a quarry. It just wasn't recommending it. I guess it just wanted me to focus on food. Fair enough. I was a bit confused. I was like, well, we have got the technology, surely, at this point. Oh, another storm coming in. Avoid that. Wait, what? How? I'm so confused. Apparently, we're already at level one climate. Um, that must be from forest fires. Like, there's no... How? I don't know how else that could have... The Inca and somebody else have some. I... Yeah, I was gonna say that must be just like forest fires. That can't be, can't be anything else. Way too early. Although I have just unlocked industrialization, so maybe not. <laughs> oh no, sorry, that's apprenticeship, not industrialization. We're good, we're good. I was getting confused there. Get our second great scientist in a matter of turns, which is great, and that boosts some more technologies for us. So that's that's really useful. Appreciative. Of that, there's also some barb camps. There's one straight to the north I'm going to deal with. I've sort of sent every unit in. Just make sure we finish the job. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to conquer. And we've secured a golden age. I think we already had it, but we've definitely secured it now. So that's fantastic. Okay, yeah, so I just purchased the builder and he has seven builds. So that is amazing. <laughs> that's what we like to see. And we get a third great scientist within 74 turns. It's a fantastic start in the great science department, so we'll go ahead and do that. That's going to make our libraries more effective, which is good. Especially since we have two pretty good campuses already. We also have a commercial hub in terms of districts. I think that's it. I'm about to try and build an industrial zone in our second city instead of a commercial hub. Although I will go for a commercial hub when I can. So our golden age has begun. Um, so that's good news. And oh, we just unlocked Nita as well. This is a weird tech tree. I can't build a harbour. But we've got the Nita resource. That is pretty, pretty uh, weird. 
Um, I don't know what I want here. Two movement for builders, purchase units with faith. We have a little bit of faith. Um, settlers are cheaper to buy with faith and gold, and that band builders as well. That's fairly nice, but I'm going to go with Eureka's additional 10% tech costs. Commercial hub bonuses provide science. Yeah, that sounds good. And we are going to one turn. That's perfect. We will go ahead and get a harbour because I really want one in this city. I was like, why can't I get one and get every other building? But I hadn't bought the tile. And then when I bought the tile, it still wouldn't let me have it. And I was like, what's going on here then? But there we go. I figured it out. It just didn't have the technology. I've still only met one sieve. I don't know how. This is, a, this is supposed to be a small map. It, it doesn't feel very small. Um, so yeah, hopefully we meet some other sieves fairly soon as well. <laughs> Significant blizzard now. Is that... Is that worse than the other one? No, the other one was crippling. Significant. I feel that's like significant is not as bad as crippling. Like that is. That, that sounds like it's pretty much as bad as a blizzard can be. I think I'm just going to go settle this area. Like it's open. There's only city states here. So I think we can safely. There's loads of good resources too. So we may as well just go fill this space with our own settlers. I think that'd be worthwhile. There's also still a tribal village in here by the look of it. So if we can get that with. I don't know what unit. I'll, I'll try to send one around there. That would be quite nice. I mean, you, this late in the game, you never know. It could be some really good bonus. So we might as well go see. It might not be there sometimes. It's just if you haven't seen it disappear, then it still stays there, which can suck. But you never know. It might still just be lurking there, which could be good news for us. We had a plan. Plop down some more cities, and then I'll go and try to fight somebody, probably. Because we seem to be very much stuck on our own in the ed edge of the map. Okay, it's time to build a dam. Um, oh, I can't build it here. Hang on, can I change the tiles? Is that is that because it's the capital's tile? It might be, hang on. Uh, swap. There, no, wait, that didn't work. No. Uh, yeah, I wanted, I thought if I could build it there, maybe it would cover both cities, but I'm guessing it, it's just not going to let me. Um, yeah, this city just got flooded, like, again. Like, we just need to stop it. I'll build it there, and hopefully that works on all these rivers, because then that would spare us just a lot of issues. That would be quite nice. Okay, fourth city? There we go, right in this valley, which is where I thought the tribal village would be. Sadly, it looks like we're out of luck. It looks like it's not here anymore, but it's fine. I've got two more settlers on the way. This guy is heading down here to this river area, and then this other one is going to come down to this river area and be a bit close to the Inca, but, you know, we've got to take some chances. Okay, our dam is going to be finished this turn, which is quite nice. Uh, ooh, double great people point. I mean, we've got nearly every great scientist in the world at this point. 100% um, of the city-states yield. Um, I am trading with the city-state. I think it's scientific. It's shot in the dark, to be honest, but hopefully it is. <laughs> uh, we probably won't win anyway. We've only one vote. The industrial wins. Great, No great profits. Great profits are gone anyway. You can't get them, so that doesn't matter. Because we just unlocked a replacement for the bank as part of being in the Owls of Minerva Secret Society. It's quite excited to see what that does. I hope I haven't built any regular banks. I don't think I have. Um, oh, yeah, the, oh, he, the Inca literally about 10 turns ago said, there's not enough people in your empire. Now they're like, yeah, there's a lot of people living in yours. I, I don't know what he's on about. We do have the most soldiers, which is pretty impressive. I do need to get some scouts up to go meet people. I'll build one here. I can't build scouts anymore. What is this? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Three new cities then. So these are the new ones. Poor old Hattusa in the middle. Where well, they are their suzerains, so hopefully they don't mind. I'm going to be moving a lot of my units down to um, probably this one here, because I think that's where we'll have to fight the Inca from. I guess I'll need to keep the capital safe, but I'm going to try to build some new ones there to replace these ones. But yeah, obviously that city is very exposed if we don't go and look out for them. So we'll try and do that. Big flood different river we just can't get away from this issue at least we built a dam on the other one i guess i'll build one down there eventually we're on two different rivers now down here that is a massive flood look at the size of that that is huge holy moly i am sending a trader um, from my capital now to this city so that will build a road it's not the best decision economically it's not like we're raking in the money at all although i do now have i just unlocked two new trade slots last turn so i'll build those pretty much immediately but that should help a little bit with just getting around. Obviously these cities a bit further away, a bit more awkward. I'll try and connect them maybe one by one. But yeah, we will we will try to get there. We're going to get a big science bonus here for mountains, I think. The volcano counts. Actually, I'm not sure it does. I, mean, I was going to say I could go here, but that would also not count. Um, I mean, that tile would be five. 
but uh, yeah, I think they all count as four. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Boom, there we go. We're on quick light speed anyway, so it's basically two free technologies, just like that. Lovely. Our science is so much better than our culture. I haven't built any theater squares yet. I'm trying. I'm getting there. Okay. Our military is still much stronger than the Incas, so we are we are pretty safe. It's about uh, theirs is a hundred according to this, and ours is two hundred seventy-five. So we're okay for now. We don't have to be too concerned just yet. Um, it's all good. We enter the Renaissance era in a dark age, but you know we you lose some. Oh, it looks so bad. The game. I don't get why. Each new district. There we go. Yeah, we're building quite a few. Okay, we're going to get a nice plus four campus right here, so that will continue to improve our science. This city's looking good. I did build a builder for this city, because as you can see, it's got tons of resources. I really want to work them. But then I put Raina there and gave her the promotion that gives us extra gold for unimproved stuff, and it gave us like 10 gold per turn. So I'm going to leave that just for a little bit. I've sent the same builder up here to this city instead. And is this... No, this is just a normal mountain. For some reason, it looked different. I thought it might have been a wonder. But it, I think it's just a weird... Sort of shaded mountain with no snow on it. I got excited then. I was like, I didn't even know. <laughs> but no, it doesn't look like a wonder. First we get we get blizzards. Now we get dust storms. You can't win. Our capital is exposed to both sides of the... Uh, both extremes of the weather. Floods, volcanoes, blizzards, dust storms. You name Meteor showers. You know, you name it. Our capital has had it. I'm finally getting some theatre squares up and running. So we are finally promoting some culture... In our empire. Oh wait, Mount. Okay, we did settle near a, a Wonder Mountain by accident. However, we did settle next to a uh, Mount Vesuvius, which is a wonder. I did not, didn't even see that. But there we go. That's right there. So if we buy that, that's a natural wonder, albeit a volcano. Um, appears as a volcano, but it gives one production to adjacent tiles. And on eruption, it gives high yields, but large population losses. Luckily, the city itself is just out of reach, if I'm not mistaken. We just unlocked a Great Admiral, which is pretty impressive, because I don't even have a boat yet. But it will give me another three trader. I actually got one of those um, off a Great Merchant just a second ago, so that's nice. Two free traders pretty quickly. We've actually got our trade looking pretty good at, up to speed, I think you could say. Wait, have I unlocked coal? When did that happen? Uh, no idea, but there you go, I have coal apparently. Uh, but yeah, I've got my traders sort of getting up to speed. There's floods every turn at this point. I can't, like, they're not big events anymore. Um, yeah, I'm up to six, which is one for every city. And two, this city, Napata, and He, here, very well named, does not, um, aren't giving me any. So there's two free ones, and then four in the other cities, based on campuses or commercial hubs. There was a bit, of the, uh, where we were sort of, we were falling down the demographics a bit but we're now top three on everything which is pretty good because there's only six sieves so we're in the top half on a lot of things particularly crop yield which should lead to population hopefully one day soldiers are in second so that's good but that will be it for this episode there will be a, probably another at least one um i don't really know how long it will take later on but yeah there will definitely be at least another one i'm enjoying this so far i hope you enjoy this new sort of style it's a little bit quicker you can see less of my mistakes and painful mistakes and I can just focus on trying to bring some action. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.